if you have a project that ultimately didn't move forward for whatever reason, uh, even though it was close to production. I, I'm actually surprised at how long it took me to think of it. Uh, and I was like, oh yeah, I was gonna direct a Star Wars movie. Uh, but it took me like literally like a minute because I, I couldn't, I, I'm being serious. Uh, were, you really, were you really close to the, you weren't close to shooting or anything? You weren't no, to- I mean, we were, we were uh, you know, art and, and, and writing. It was a development thing. It was a script development thing. And, and you know, it, I guess the, the lesson from it uh, is, you know, I'd, I'd always, um, I've, I've been very fortunate, you know, and then um, I, the films that I've directed, I've, I've always really, uh, the path that I, that I wanted to follow and the path that the, you know, the every, everyone involved wanted to follow was the same. Uh, and it's, it's totally possible for, uh, you know, people to see two totally different paths uh, through the woods. So, you know, that, that was just an experience uh, that obviously you can imagine, you know, as, as all of these things, like it can get to the point of being, you know, traumatic when there's something that you care about that much and you've invested that much in it. Uh, but that's one of the things uh, that you accept when you, when you, take on uh any any role uh in film uh, and especially when you become a storyteller that they're going to be heartbreaks you know there's going to be crushing disappointments and then there's going to be uh there's going to be victories and uh hopefully they'll balance out uh in the end uh, i didn't get to have a, a table read with tom cruise and brad pitt that's pretty awesome um i do i actually hold on a second i got something cool hold on look at this. <laughs> so this is uh, one of the, my son and I designed a ship because uh, we were designing ships and one of the two, I have two ships. One of them is, is at the theme park uh, at Disneyland. This is the other one and it only exists in this 3D model. And for Christmas, it's called the Thai Marauder. Uh, and it's, it does this. Uh, and for Christmas, uh, the guys painted it for me. So I only had this in a 3D model. And now this is the only one in the world. Uh, wow. And it's an amazing memory uh, for me of something that, you know, when I got to do something that was an incredible experience uh, and just from start to finish that I was able to, to make a Star Wars ship with my son.